Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be uh, looking at list view and uh, basically a style um, that was introduced in iOS 14 uh, for the list. So basically, um, if you uh, if you have used uh, lists in SwiftUI 1.0 iOS 13, uh, you would notice that lists used to look a little bit different. So default styling was um, very different from what actually changed suddenly in iOS 14. Okay, so um, you know, this is what iOS 14 uh, list looks like, and. Uh, if you were wondering like you know how to make it uh, look like the way it used to look because um, I like that I mean personally I like that um, view a little bit more clean um, than this one so all right so I always wanted to change uh, the look of like you know this list view not to look like like you know with the indentation and background and everything okay so that's why I thought like you know I'll create a video if you're struggling with the same thing okay so for this example we're going to be using ABCD of fruits and uh, this is just an example with uh, fruit names ABCD and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try to change the list style so um, as it turned out uh, it's actually really simple uh, to to make the change to make your list look like it used to look before okay so let me show you how um, so all you need to do is basically let's let's walk over like you know how the how the view is layout uh, we have a navigation view inside the navigation view we have a, a vertical stack and inside the vertical stack we have a list and for each for each is iterating over items okay so what i'm going to do is uh at the list at the v stack just after the list i'm going to say list style okay and uh, there are many different types of list styles available so let's take a look at them one by one so i'm simply gonna uh, type list style and if you notice there are a whole bunch of them so there's a default that's uh, this one then you have a grouped list style so um, this is what grouped list style looks like okay so if i just say list style okay one more time um, there is an insert list style and uh, Let's go ahead and see so this is what inset uh, list style looks like let me go ahead and run this code and um, this is what your inset list style looks like all right and then you have let's see list style you have plain list style okay let's take a look at that one all right so that looks exactly like inset uh, list style looks like okay and uh, you have inset grouped okay so this is inset grouped if you notice uh, it's uh, its corners are a little bit uh, more uh, rounded so it has like you know more of a corner radius so that's what this list style represents and then you have sidebar list style this is what sidebar list style looks like which has more indentation i don't know if you can see but more indentation on the uh, divider itself okay so what we used to look at um, prior as uh, prior ios 14 was um, this plain list style so all you have to do is basically uh, create this list style plain list style and uh, then you you got yourself uh, the good old uh, list uh, looking like the way i i believe in my opinion lists should look like okay so yeah so that's how you can set the list down now there's one more trick if you're using navigation um, view then you can if you and if you don't want to set list style then there's another way actually you can um, set your list style by using the navigation so you, all you have to do is say navigation view style 
okay and set its style to stack navigation style that turns out <laughs> that it changes the list style to be the same as plain list style as you can see that okay but if you don't wanna like you know um, if you have something going on on the um, navigation view and you don't want to touch that then list style is always available um, in my opinion I would prefer setting the list style uh, because uh, setting navigation view provides the look that you're looking for but uh, it also um, basically provide that look uh, as a side effect um, it's not a direct impact like you know applying a modifier and, and making that available so writing this line of code gives you an idea that yes this is the list style that I opt for and this is the list style I'm actually um, gonna see okay so there are less of a surprises okay so yeah so uh, that was it for uh, this video I just wanted to show you like you know how you can set your list to look like iOS 13 if you don't like iOS 14 lists okay so uh, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in next video thank you